Yeah! What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the best, the best sneaker talk show on Instagram, on YouTube, on every platform there is. Thank you, everybody, for joining us once again. Today, guys, we have episode 10 with my guest, Randy, all the way from Canada. Super excited, but you guys already know the vibes. Before we begin, this video, this IG Live is sponsored by the one, the only, the greatest brand out there, N-Lime. N-Lime, baby. If you guys not familiar with N-Lime, you, you guys need to check it out. Guys, I'm about to drop... I'm about to drop these shorts right here. Let me show you guys. I literally just sold a pair of shorts literally five minutes ago. I was supposed to start at 730 but I couldn't because my boy was like, yo, I'm going out for dinner. Can I get the shorts? And, you know, I had to I had to hook him up. So I had to hook him up with the shorts ASAP Rocky. So you guys already know the vibe. Shorts come in black, gray. We got colors in the back. We got black coral, baby blue, baby. Uh, royal blue, red. All flavors, baby. All flavors. So you guys already know if you... Follow me on Instagram at LMNYC and follow me on YouTube at the homie and let's get the show on the road and let's get the show started. Yo, yo, what's good, buddy? I feel like... This, How's it this going? is a special one. Me? I don't know, man. Bro, I <laughs> we'll try. think you're special because you were one of the few people that were like, I'm really shy. I'm really shy. And look, I convinced you to do it. <laughs> hey, man. To be honest, I am actually a really shy guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's cool, bro. I'm I'm shy too, man. Yeah. I just I'm a little more out there, but I'm I'm still shy. You know? Oh, for, for sure, man. Actually, in my younger teenage years, I was so outgoing. Then I guess when I'm getting older, it's just like going downhill. I'm just becoming more shy and shy. <laughs> but hey, man, that's how it is, eh? No, but we're here today, right? You know, I'm glad that you. You made. Sorry guys, we're having technical difficulties. All right, guys, I'm, I'm um. Can you guys still hear me? Can you guys still check see one me? two? I think I lost Randy. What's going on here? Why is it black? Sorry, man. Hey. I, I didn't know what happened there. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, man. That's all good. So how's your day, though? My day, um, busy. Yeah, hey, man. It's all good. It's all good. I like all the Power Rangers. Good shit. Yeah, man. I, I got back, the Power dude. Rangers in the back. Fuck. Let me show you some, some more Power Rangers. I'll get the oh, short I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Dude, my dad actually, uh, way back in my younger years, kids' years, he always spoils me with morphers and the megazords. And that's all only morphers and megazords, dude. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like the mega the swords and and the and the morphers and the weapons yeah. is like the most is the most interesting. For me, yeah, you know, man, yeah. I got, oh, the, I, agree. I got the weapon wall right there. Oh, that's dope. No yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's awesome. Good shit. Did you uh, watch the latest Power Ranger one on Netflix? Yeah, I saw so it. It was it was okay. A, it was okay. Oh yeah, interesting. You saw it? No, I have no. I wasn't sure if I'm gonna like it, so I didn't really pull the trigger. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah, man. So I'm super excited to have you on the show today. <laughs> Thank you, Episode man. Episode 10. You. Um, let's just, um, you know, tell everybody your name and tell a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what city you rap, where you... Sure, man. <laughs> So, hey guys, thank you for uh, joining. Shout out to Nlime, Nell. I actually uh, didn't discover him until he uh, shot me a follow. So big shout out to you. You're awesome. Keep doing you, you know, keep up the work. And uh, uh, yeah, so my name's Randy Hernandez. I actually live in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Uh, my parents are from the Philippines, but I was actually born here, so I'm, you know, Filipino. And then, yeah, uh, work life. My first job was a radio station. I only did that for a summer job, but that was like a cool experience too. I was actually doing editing playlists. And then second job, I was uh, doing automotive at an oil change as I, upper technician at Mr. Lube, Canada. And then after that, I spent my pretty much seven and a half years for footwear retail. So I started at Sears Canada. I was there for four and a half, I believe. And then second, I, I moved to Foot Locker Canada. That was actually a dream for me, honestly. I know it's not the best dream job, but that's a cool experience. Then after that, I switched to Champ Sports. And yeah, now I switched to a whole nother level. I'm at housekeeping now. So I think I'm going, I want to say, so I did four years at a hotel. And right now I'm doing long-term care home housekeeping. So probably almost seven years. In total, wow. so yeah, wow. yeah, man, just trying to keep myself busy, and yeah, man. <laughs> so when do you? When would you say? Um, like I like at what age was it, like when did it start the love for oh, sneakers? So, so for the love, I don't think there's an age, but there is a one point. Though, I'll tell you that after. But as growing up. I just like have a passion for shoes or just the love for it. Like I remember light up shoes. I remember like cartoon and like Disney, Disney movie shoes, like the and life and all that stuff, like Marvel, all of those. And I also remember I have a pair of Kango infant shoes. That's a, oh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I remember that was from, years i believe but i was a little bit younger up here there maybe like like four my parents told me that and then wait yeah. but can I go, that's the that's the brand Kangaroo. of like the hat brand no the uh, footwear brand footwear, it's an okay. old yeah it's an old brand yeah but okay. yeah man it started there and then uh so the thing is going to sneakers i grew up wa watching space jam my dad actually introduced me to basketball at that time and i just absolutely loved that movie i have that i still have the vhs tape actually as a collector piece i'll actually show it right now i mean that's a great movie uh, man uh, not a lot of people knows what these guys, these guys are nowadays, dude. <laughs> I love that, I love that movie. Yeah, man. You have a you have a VCR player? No, not anymore. <laughs> uh, I got two more items from the station. These ones are actually original. One sec, dude. Lots of shoes in the background. Yeah. So this is the original Space Jam poster. Wow. Yeah. So got that. That's sick. And then, then there's this one. I bought it a couple of years ago. I found it on Kijiji Canada. It's a plush doll Michael Jordan. <laughs> is that an original? Yes. 
serious. That's like the that that's like like that's that that drop when like the movie came out. Probably, I'm not too sure. Yeah, nineteen ninety six. Yeah, man. That's that's cool. I'm I'm glad that you like you 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 know you you taking out the toys because you know I love toys. I love yeah, collectibles, yeah. so it's something different for this for this um talk show. You know, usually we just do sneakers. Yeah. So I'm glad you you know. Yeah, and then also I have here in front of me. It's a memorable shoe. First pair of Reeboks. Not something you see all the time. Nice vintage. The leather on these guys are amazing. It's leather you don't see on like most shoes nowadays. Like the leather on here is actually really good. <laughs> yeah, wow. man. Yeah. Those were First those were Reeboks. those were your shoes. Yeah. These are my shoes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Original box too. Wow. Got the, wow, these are the wow. satellites. <laughs> that is yeah, man. So cool. Yeah. So yeah. So cool. So what? I wonder if you think they're wearable. Like if a if a kid wears it. Uh, you know what? It's a little. There's little separation from the toe, but other than that, I think it should be good to go. To be honest, yeah. I think it should be okay. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That is so dope, bro. Yeah, I mean, dude. so <laughs> what? What is your, like your what is like your holy grail of of like sneakers? Do you have like a holy grail? Holy grail. So I don't really go by the term holy grail anymore. Uh, but it is this shoe. Until this day, I'm pretty shocked that I still have it. Uh, so it would be the Space Jam. Yeah. Shoe always I wanted, but that's later, eh? But yeah, what, nice. What year, what year Space Jam is that? These are the recent ones, 2016, I think. Is it 2016? Yeah, 2016. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that. That's like a classic shoe. It's like it's really like an iconic shoe. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, it's a classic shoe. So now it's time for the best part. What's up? It's time to show everybody your top ten sneakers. All right. I see. Let's do the shoe that got me into. So, okay, let's do that. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. No, I, I, I no, 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 no. I'll get, you know, I'll I got get so it. many things going on, but good thing you reminded me. <laughs> I, uh, let's do that good, one. Brother. So good. So, the shoe, it's not really hype. Like, I think all the shoes that I have is not really hype worthy now, or I don't really call them hype or heat anymore. Uh, but the shoe that really started it all. Is this guy? Go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What is it? So these are the 2011 Adidas Adi Zero Derrick Rose 2. What? Yeah. That... His second signature. Wow. They're like in good condition too. They're really beat, but I could still wear them though. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh. I wore this off. Before I wear this everywhere I go, so yeah, man. At the time, at the time, was he playing in in the Raptors? No, Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Yeah, he Chicago. Was, oh wait, he, he never he played, played in, Chicago, in the yeah. Raptors, right? I got him confused with um. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> It's been so long. No, man. I got him confused with the Rose, and I don't know. Sometimes oh, I get them the confused. Rose. Yeah. Because Derek Rose, the Rose, and I don't oh, know. yeah, yeah, I, I feel yeah, bro. But yeah, man, uh, I actually grew up wearing. I forgot to include this too. Actually, I kind of got <laughs> off topic. But I grew up wearing Reebok Classics, Reebok Club Seas, 
uh, Air Force One loads, uptowns, whatever people nowadays call it. Um, and the Adidas Superstar, that's a big one. That one, and that's all white colorways, all triple white. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, you, you would clean it all the time. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Not really. Like, I beat them uh, from like, I just beat them because I don't really know any about like the culture or anything until later on, right? So, yeah, this is the shoe that really started it all. Like, what the thing is, the story about these guys, I went to a local sport shack with my dad. And then usually every year he, he gives me a brand new pair of shoes. So we went to sport check and then I went straight to the Air Force aisle and the Adidas superstars and all that, the casual lifestyle guys. And then he went all the way back to the uh, basketball trainer aisle, the section there. I was like, okay, I don't know why he's he went down there. So he called me and then he's like, let's buy you something different. And I was like, okay, what is it? And then, yeah, he showed me this and yeah, first signature shoe. And yeah, this really started it for me. Like back then when I got this, I was actually 17. I didn't really have a steady job, a steady job. Sorry about that. But yeah, and then, yeah, it's just started there, man. I That's... just got so into signature basketball shoes, like any brands. And yeah. I'll actually post an older uh, sneaker collection from like a long time ago, like almost 10, almost eight years. It's, it's heavily old basketball. And it's, there's a little bit of variety. Like there's some Chris Pauls, there's KDs. Uh, I got one Carmelo, that's the Carmelo 11s. And then I had LeBron's. I had one penny, but it's the penny five volt. Neon, neon volt colorway, the highlighter colorway. That one was <laughs> super cool. Yeah, I love, I love, um, I love me a good penny shoe. Like, yeah, my penny's good. Not too crazy about him, but he has some good shoes, dude. Yeah, he has oh, some good shoes. Very good shoes. It was good because, you know, at the time, you know, it was always like, everybody was like, oh, you know, Michael Jordan. But, you know, you yeah, had these yeah. other, you had these other guys like the Pippins, uh, oh, absolutely, uh Penny Hardaway, you know, yeah. um, uh, yeah. You know, Iverson and, and all these other guys competing, yeah. you know. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was cool. I feel like back in the day it was uh hard. It was just or... it was just better be I don't know. I, I don't know if it's me, but I feel like nowadays all the shoes look the same to me. I don't know if it's just me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing like really like innovative, like crazy, like yeah, right now. Just... I mean Oh, as of right now, yeah, there's not too much like, craziness. Like the LeBron, LeBron 20s, they weren't like really. Yeah, I actually still have to pick up a pair. I heard some good things about them. I actually haven't, uh, the last LeBron I have that I caught was the 18. Okay, okay. Yeah. The 18 ones. I have to go and grab them, dude. <laughs> Stay in with me. Okay. Feels like a freaking store, man. <laughs> <laughs> These are the LeBrons. Right. This is my last LeBron that I really talked in a long time. These are the Titan 18s. Oh, oh. Those. what's that? Red, that's red and gold. Yeah, red and gold. Is that supposed to be like um Chinese New Year? I uh, know. No, this is actually the Titan collab, Philippine collab. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, with man. The, the, yeah. With the Titan, the store. Yes, sir. 
shoot. He wore this in the uh, Lakers when he still had the 23, I think. 23 jersey number, yeah. Wow. I think. I might be wrong, but yeah, man. That is sick. You got that? You got that for retail or what? Oh, uh, I, I got it on sale on Foot Locker. It was on sale? Let's see if I got the receiver invoice. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I can't find the invoice with me. But yeah, I actually got it on sale though. Yeah. That's sick, bro. Yeah, man. Nothing too crazy. But yeah. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> All right. So let's show everybody the, the rotation, the one through ten. Oh, the top seven favorites or whatever you want. Top five, type Ooh, seven, whatever. I you got want. seven. Okay. Let's go. Seven there's... is my favorite number. <laughs> so there's no specific order. No specific so order. One number one is the Reebok D Answer DMX ten. Uh all star pack to two thousand thirteen. Yeah. yeah. That's the twenty thirteen release? Yeah. Yeah. This isn't what? the retro. This is the uh, 2013. So the 2013, was that the original release? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah. I got these for a steal at uh, Champ Sports for... I got them see. Uh, one sec. I sort of model. Got the receipt right here. So it costs three, four bucks. <laughs> yeah, man. What year was that? These are 2013s. So you bought them like, like what, 2014? Like, what does the receipt say? What date? I bought them in 2015 at Champs. 2015. Yeah. For thirty five dollars, that's rare to find nowadays, man. That's oh my god! Rare. Yeah, what yeah. a steal! <laughs> I think they go for like well, they re released them like lately, and they go yeah. for like a hundred something, like one hundred twenty. What color are those? are those? Are those black or navy blue? These are navy. These are the navy. Yeah, navy, white, and gold. With yeah, gold. man, I want I want a pair of those, man. Yeah, man, they're actually comfy. They're actually comfy. So next on the list, let's go, Reebok. Uh, no, if you know, you know. Like I said no specific order. I actually just got into Asics because I like to try new stuff. So it would be the Asex gel like three these are just a gr release nothing too crazy these things are mad comfy though super comfy i could wear them every single day honestly really comfy and they actually have they go on sale for really really low price really yeah, yeah. they go for crazy low price man sometimes yeah wow. <laughs> yeah so yeah, got those. This one again, nothing too hype or too crazy. I don't really see a lot of people have these. The end one Tai Chi, obviously. Vince Carter. What? <laughs> what? Nice to see those. I saw brought out the end ones. <laughs> From Foot Locker Canada, got these on sale as well. So yeah, 
they were just sitting, sitting, so I might as well. I was like, that's VC, man. Slam dunks. <laughs> Yo, add one. If yeah. you know, you know. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That's Throwback. Crazy, that's for sure. Throwbacks. <laughs> uh, you, guys me cool. back. You, you guys remember School of Hard Knocks? What's that? You remember the, the brand School of Hard Knocks? I don't think so. It was kind of similar to like N1. I think they were like in competition with like the t shirts. Oh. Okay. I could be yeah. saying it around uh, wrong, but it's like hard. Hard school of hard knocks, something like that. Oh. Let me see what's my phone. Oh. Huh. That phone's right there. Interesting. Look at my lap. Oh, I actually haven't uh, heard of that. I'll yeah, I'll out, send though. you the I'll send you the brand like once we're done, so you can see it. Okay, sure. Actually, yeah, for sure. And then next up, again, this is not too crazy. Uh, the Nike Air Python. This shoe isn't too popular, but this is the all red colorway. So it's a fusion of like the uh, Jordan 2 and the Nike Air Force 2 midsole, I believe. I might be wrong. Feel free to correct me. I don't know. I'm not that perfect, too, right? But yeah, I really like these shoes. Can I? These guys are beaters, too. <laughs> can I see them? Yeah. Oh my God. They're actually, I, I've, I've seen this shoe many times. Oh, I've okay. never. I've never seen it in all red. Yeah, these are, I actually got these on East Bay. This was actually my first East Bay purchase long time ago. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Back when East Bay was okay. alive. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude, exactly. I always get comments to people who are just like, where are those? I was like, they are Nike Air Pythons. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Like because they kind of look, they kind of look like the tools. Like yeah. you said, they're the fuses. Yeah, yeah, similar, yeah. Very similar to the tools. Very. Yeah. Real cool, uh, cool shoe to have. Not going to lie. Uh, up next. Guy has versatility <laughs> here. <laughs> These are a little bit newer. I think this came out 2018, I believe. So these guys are the Puma high octane collaboration with the need for speed heat game super cool shoe the outsole and the midsole is basically like a tire like it's Yo, so freaking crazy the traction yeah <laughs> it's crazy yeah that's it's fire wild. uh whenever i wear this shoe i get called out for wearing weightlifting shoes i was like these are not weightlifting shoes. <laughs> These are just regular Pumas. Yeah, those man. Are, really those cool are fire. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Light shoe, really cool. Clean, simple, a little bit basic. Uh, this one's another fan favorite. Shout out to everybody joining us tonight. Yeah. Thank you for everybody. Thanks uh, to everybody who's joining. It's really cool. <laughs> so another one is the Saucony Grid 9000. These ones are a little bit newer. I think 2018, I believe. I can't remember. Nothing too crazy, but these are really light, breathable, and yeah, really comfortable. I believe. Are you familiar with J-Tips? Yes, I've seen that. That one was next level dope. Did, did I think he I think he dropped the second silhouette and I think that's that's the shoe he used. Oh yeah. Yeah? If I'm not mistaken, I think it was that I think it was that silhouette. Oh, because okay. the first the first one he dropped is the one that I have. The first yes. one is the the Azura Grid 2000. Yes. Yeah. This this is a uh, what number is it? This is the grid 9,000. 9,000. Yeah. I think that's the one he used. Oh, okay. Oh, no, Yo, you got to check it out, bro. Fucking yeah, oh, definitely. I actually didn't know he made a second one. Yeah. He, he just dropped it like two days ago. Oh, okay. Well, 
not bad. Well, not pictures. Bad. He just dropped the pictures. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll take. I'll take a look. Yeah. So the last one. Again, nothing too crazy. This is the only shoe that I own from the brand. I actually got this from a local Marshalls. It's the Diadora Rebound Ace. Yeah, it's nothing too crazy. Really clean shoe. How much, super... how much you paid for that? I paid, I think, let's see. I think I have the receipt with me. I'm not too sure. Let's see. So I paid fifty six for those. Fifty six Canadian dollars. So I think in American dollar that's forty? Thirty to forty something American USD. Yes. Something like that, yeah. Nice, bro. Yeah. The Adora is a classic shoe, you know, it brings me back to like yeah. my, so my soccer days, you know, we used a lot of oh, okay. Adora players mm -hmm. playing soccer, you know, the Adora cleats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, nothing, nothing too crazy. <laughs> nothing too hyped up, no off whites, no. I don't have too much Yeezys. I only own, like I told you before, I only had two Yeezys, but I gave the 350 away because I can use that. But I still have the slides. That's fucking comfy, man. <laughs> yeah. What was I going to say? Um, is there a, what's like your favorite? I know you don't you don't have many Jordan, but what's your favorite um like Jordan number? If you had Ooh. to pick, so mine are the ones, the sevens, and elevens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Solid. Solid. Yeah. I actually didn't get into Jordans until later on when I decided to add a little bit of variety. I'll actually show you the first Jordan that I bought. Jordan Retro. One sec. I just need to get rid of these. Uh, it's these guys right here. I actually bought this at a local Foot Locker. The Jordan 7 Retro N7. These are from 2015. Yeah. I've never seen those no? before. So it's a collaboration, I think, with N7. What's N7? What's that? So, so it's here, it says the N7 fund, which helps enable Native American youth to be active through the power of sport. Yeah. They actually have a N7 collection every single year. And I think recently this year, they're making N7 dunks, I believe. Those, those are pretty clean too, yeah. Yeah, man. Look at that. that. I didn't, you learn something new every day. I did not know about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I know, did not know about that collab. I mean, I guess it's very underrated. Very underrated, yeah. Their, their collection is just, Super underrated. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not surprised. You know. Yeah. Soci society banks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, this is what it is. But yeah. That's sick, bro. So, if if you had a chance to design your own shoe, what brand would it be with? So for me. It would be either Saucony on the Saucony Grid 6000 or the A6 Gelite 3. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like I would have more like freedom for material wise 
and color collections and all that and yeah and they the price point is actually not too bad too so yeah it would be either Saucony or A6 for me yeah they're both uh really comfortable shoes so yeah very very yeah you can't go wrong for sure man for sure Yo, Reebok, Reebok has some comfortable ass shoes too. Um, oh, the I know you're familiar yeah. with, the, with the Nano. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, dude, shirt, just... yeah. I used to have oh. <laughs> for the hotels and shit, yeah. The, yeah. What was it? The Club C. I like the Club, Club C. Club C is clean, man. It's a good shoes. Yeah. Yeah, man. And so, um, I'm trying to remember if I missed any questions. Um, do you know if I missed anything? Uh, we went. So we did the grill. Uh, we did. What was the first shoe we, we we did that? Uh oh. So you missed on the what shoe do you currently want? So there's two of them. These are actually older releases. Uh, one of them would be the Nike Air Max 90 Quartz, and the second one would be the Nike SB Dunk Highs uh, concept collection, or I mean collaboration, my bad, on the uh, same glass. Have you uh, seen those guys? No way, eh? or have you? Are, are they the, are they like are they black with like stained glass yeah yeah black with stained glass yeah those are like old school a little bit yeah 2000 i think both shoes 2015 i'm not too sure here nike sb dunk uh, So they would look something like this. This is one of them. So that's one. Yeah. And then and the cork. Is that the one that's like the cork in navy blue? Uh, no, it's all cork upper with infrared hits, I think. One sec. Nike Air Max 90. So it would be something like this. Something like that. Oh, I think I've seen them. Yeah. Those are fire. Yeah, man. And you can't go wrong with Air Max either. Those are super comfortable. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, man. For sure. For sure. But yeah, brother. Um, is there any other um shoes you want to show anybody? Uh, I, mean, um... I think I have a couple. Let's see, this Jordan one is an older release, like uh, two thousand fifteen. Not a lot of people have these guys. These are the Jordan one Letterman, David Letterman. Yes. So I don't know if not a lot of people, but this is, I want to say they're inspired by the track suit that Jordan wore on the David Letterman show. So red upper with navy. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Really slept on. Uh, not too much, man. There's a couple. Let's see. Sure was the heat. Sure was the heat. But sure was the heat. <laughs> so I don't have too much, too high points. So obviously. For me, me, any shoe was hype, man. Any shoe was hype, man. I know. Oh, you. Sh I think you showed these or somebody else showed them. 
I don't discriminate. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? That? That's kind of <laughs> offensive. That's kind of offensive to me, man. What are you talking about? That's not hype. <laughs> yeah, man. Can't go wrong. This guy put my put, he put my country on the map. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, his music goes hard, dude. I actually like Latin music. Latin music's a, a vibe, you know. <laughs> Do you you got those for retail? No, I got these uh, goats. Yeah. And then those. Those are beautiful. I have the the tools. I don't have the ones. Yeah, man. Obviously, gonna add the tools as well. Did you see pictures of the three? Woo! <laughs> Man, this shoe brings me back memories in the elementary kindergarten, dude. Light up shoes. It's just dope. Can't go wrong, but I just wish they weren't too expensive, though. Like, you that's know, the thing. You know what makes me sad? I wish that you could change the battery. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I'm not too sure how the battery works. Uh, from what I've heard, I can't guarantee if it's true or not do you know the youtuber seth fowler yes uh he said that the battery is like motion recharge so as you keep walking it just recharges by itself or something i'm not i can't guarantee that because i haven't really found any source about that eh? that's interesting yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Have you seen pictures of the threes? The threes are clean. That's definitely a summer shoe for sure. That's a nice shoe. I dig it. I don't mind it. Thanks. Uh, what else? I'll show you some ideas. So here's one of the IDs, the Dunk Low. These are the Dallas Mavericks inspired colorway. I use the classic logo. Dallas is actually my favorite team. Nothing too crazy about those. Oh, uh, Dallas Mavericks is your favorite team? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Not bad. I don't know. They're... I don't know what they're doing with their regroup and all that rebuilding. It's we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, since I worked at Sears, I this is one of the original purchases. Nothing hype. Boat shoes, obviously. <laughs> Super comfy. Can't go wrong. If I'm really like darn lazy i usually just wear these are yeah. those are those fairies uh no these are uh arnold palmers oh okay, yeah. arnold palmer but fairies are good too man they're super comfy i used to wear those when i work at <laughs> yeah uh what else Sun's winning it all next year maybe who knows? This one here. Did I tell you about my first shoe purchase when I had uh, when I was making cash? So if not, this one actually is my first sneaker purchase. It's the Nike LeBron Zoom Soldier Seven. Wow. Yeah. These are super comfy i really one of my favorite basketball shoes actually yeah these guys are those are, these, those are fire yeah man yeah what, uh, what color what color are they uh these are pink oh yeah yeah man Sexy. let me borrow them <laughs> for sure <laughs> <laughs> Some Nike, probably the only LeBron 11s I have. 
the Nike 11 Elite. These ones go crazy too, part of the Elite pack. Nothing too wild. These are really good for ball. I actually like these ones. Hard, hard, hard. And these are the big, big bangs, whatever. Big bang. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, sir. Those these are one are of my favorite. Ones. Those, those are one of my favorite LeBron silhouettes. Yeah, the nines. You're a good silhouette, man. Really good. Clean shoe for sure. Uh, what else? I know not a lot of people has these and these are so these shoes lots of people will hate them I know but this one just the history of itself some Adidas Kobe 2s yeah yeah man I actually bought this for 140 Canadian Really good deal. You don't see the shoe at all. <laughs> that yeah. shoe is sexy. Yeah. Cool, I want to pick up the latest drop, like, uh, you know, the silver metallic one. Oh, the crazy ones? Yeah. The Kobe ones? I still have to get a pair of those. I see. I'm actually kind of curious on how they feel. I'm not too sure. I do have the 2013 version. Yeah, and both are original colors, the yellow and the triple black. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, man. It's something you don't see every day. Yeah. Kobe 2's Adidas. Bringing uh, out the heat. Bringing out the heat. <laughs> this guy was holding back on us. <laughs> Can't go wrong with these guys zoom flight 95s not a bad shoe like these guys That's honestly it. man i like classic retros from back in the days dude i like those way better than like just most shoes now those those um i think those were worn by jason kidd right yeah, yeah. actually i got the one here that's by jason kidd Go to Toronto rapper Raptors. <laughs> we having people in the comments saying Suns are winning the next year. <laughs> we'll see. Shout out to Dan. That's my boy. Go away. Shout out to Dan. Shout out to Nate. That's my buddy. Cousin in law from Winnipeg. <laughs> so yeah. Another Ooh, he got the game. other color. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, got those. These are actually my first night yet. The 2018 Air Max 99 Nike Air Max 90. All red with gold swoosh uh these guys the colorway is actually inspired by the nike Kyrie 2 gold medal a shoe i always wanted but never got a chance so i just put the colorway on this shoe <laughs> yeah nothing you have any Kyrie shoes i do have the first one the flight track i'll actually show you that right now Shout out to everybody joining us tonight. Thursday night. We working all night. Boxes everywhere, man. <laughs> Just bear with me though. Mm -hmm. 
these ones are the Kyrie ones. Flight trap. Oh geez. Those are so fire. Man, these run small though. It's really hard for me to work this. Because they have a really narrow foot in them. Can't go wrong with those. There's my people back. My med racers. Can't go wrong with these guys. Comfy shoe. Breathable, lightweight. Yeah. How do you feel about Kyrie? Uh, I think he's signing to the to the Chinese brand, right? Uh, I think is it Anta? Yeah. Or Leaning? That would be interesting. That would be cool. Uh, I kind of like um those brands you know yeah, man, really cool shoes they, they actually have really cool shoes not to lie leaning with uh Dwayne wade shoes those he has some good ones too yeah <laughs> but people are all about the hype people just want to wear yeah nike uh, people just want to wear nike yeah. Yeah, what can you do though right what can you do <laughs> these ones this is the one that I told you about. Uh, so these aren't the original ones, but these are the Jordan 10 Power Blue, 1994, 1995, I think. But yeah. Those are I'm OGs? Actually these, what's that? Those are OGs? Sir. Dead stock. Bottom dead stock. I actually you have the box? This is actually replacement box, but it's still an original box, but replacement. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Got these for a decent price. I actually can't wait to get this restored later in the summer. Really cool how the shoe is put together. Really cool. We just see the air unit right here. The soul is still intact too. So cool. <laughs> you gonna wear them? Yeah, once it gets restored, I'm gonna just wear them a lot, man. I cannot wait. <laughs> yeah. Those, those, uh, those are beautiful shoes. You said those are powder blue, right? Yeah, powder blue, yeah. Ooh. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous. What else? Can I show that? Oh, that's the struggle, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go back, back in time a little bit. KD6 Easter joints. What are those? Hyperdom? No, these are the Nike KD6. Yeah, something we don't see every day. And then this one here. Uh, this one is the retro. Came out a few years ago. Nike LeBron Zoom Soldier 1 in the original white, navy, and gold colorway. Yeah. These guys Fire. are beautiful. Fire. What else? All these guys. Okay. There's a couple. This is actually my recent pickup. And I'll pull up the on the way. I just got these few days ago. You just got those what? A few days ago. The Maccabees. <laughs> got these on sale too. You got that on sale? Yeah. yeah. Where? Uh, BB Branded. Branded. 
It's a sneaker in Windsor, Ontario. Okay. And 151 for them. 151 Canadian. So I think that American, I want to say. I'm not too sure. 13120 American, I think. Yeah. Have you ever been to uh, America? Uh, only Duluth. Duluth. Only where? Uh, Duluth. I think that's. I've been to Minneapolis once, but that's when I was a kid, though. Okay. Duluth, Minnesota. That's the only place I've been to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. This guy <laughs> got a legendary collection. He sure does. It's crazy. It's not too crazy. Um, he says it's not too crazy, but it's crazy. <laughs> These guys will bring back some old heads, but the in the structs, the black, the worm. <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> Gary Payne. Then. It's Rodman. Oh, that is Rodman? Yeah, that is Rodman Jones. And then these guys are one of my favorite. I got this during COVID. Nike Air Flight Banger. Steve Nash PE. Yeah, these are from 2006. I'm actually scared to wear these sometimes, man. <laughs> These are actually cracking just a little bit. Yeah. Nothing too okay, crazy. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. That's cool, brother. Man. We got these guys. Got the, this one's a retro. The Nike Air Force 180 Olympics. Charles Barkley kicks. <laughs> These Ooh, ones, yeah. I love those. Yeah, man. I Great love shoe. those. Great shoe. That's probably my favorite. That's probably my favorite colorway from that yeah. shoe. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. For sure. Wow, this guy's bringing out the heat. What the heck <laughs> in the world? Where you been at, Randy? Where you been at? Me? Yeah, man. This guy. Got recent of Kempo's. Can't go wrong with those. Nothing too crazy. That's um, nice. Got some pennies. Probably the only penny I own. The fours. Like these guys. Penny? Yes, sir. Penny fours. Some two wild. I forget these. These guys are actually really hard to wear. Super heavy, but worth the shoe. Are those are no, those shops? No. Yes, sir. Vince Carter shocks. <laughs> The BB fours, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Woo! Bro, you, you brought me back. <laughs> no, right? Yo, when uh, I was a work? kid, I always wanted those <laughs> shoes, man. Yeah, bro. They need, to, they need to drop those, man. They need to drop those. Uh, they dropped uh, a few years ago. Really? Yeah, man, these are the. Oh, I'm a slacker, then. I'm a slacker. 2019, they came out. Wow, look at that. Yeah. I could probably. I, I'm a, I'll probably look for them, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, these are actually my winter beers right here. Not fair, man. You're pulling out everything that I want. <laughs> so these are older shoes. Nike SB Dunk High Christmas Concept Collaboration. 
I think these are the 20, what year? 2017 release. These guys, winter beaters for sure. Always wear these guys up. <laughs> yeah. A lot of snow? Oh, yeah. Lots, man. It's crazy. <laughs> Cold, too. Nothing oh, man. about this guy. Brandy got the heat. Brandy got the heat. Well, they're not bad. Fragment uh, dumps. Nothing too crazy. I actually won this for free from uh, Death Magnetism. So from what he does, he's uh, he usually does daily subscriptions. You pay $11 per ticket, and then he usually goes through people to win shoes yeah i actually work won these guys <laughs> so you won those for eleven dollars yeah 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 man <laughs> it's good these i think that happened to me like... too i won the you know the the jordan one mid collabo with blue the great i don't think so it's a, Probably... it's a collabo i think i paid like 25 dollars because it was like a raffle or something. oh yeah oh. That's dope. It's dope, man. Uh, what else? Let me show. Nothing too. This is one of my favorites. This one's the retro version. So this here is the retro version of the soap beaches. Anything you know about this one though, eh? You know? So Beach 8, yeah, nothing too crazy. Happy I got those. Uh, actually, what's on the shoe you don't see too often? Something you don't see too often. So these ones make Show us the money. These guys are the hyper adapt ones the auto lace ones something you don't see yeah this guy's living in the future <laughs> this guy's yeah, living dude. in the future Ain't too crazy do you have <laughs> self-lacing shoes because i don't <laughs> yeah bro i beat these up they're beaters <laughs> they're not bad yeah, I was gonna get the the Adapt 11s, but it's so expensive. Oh, those ones are pretty cool, not gonna lie. Those are really cool. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, yeah, we working. So I'm not the, the biggest Air Max guy. I don't have too many. Most of them are original colorways not too crazy obviously you got the 2017 nothing too hype too crazy about them okay okay uh gold bullets these are the 2018 release those what's that silver bullet uh gold or gold gold bullet yeah. nice man yeah show you those these are probably my one of my favorite air max clouds something you don't see every day the nike air max atmos club I love those. Details are sick, man. The vinyl print is all shoe boxes. These are really cool. I love those. Really cool shoe. I love everything that um Atmos does. I have some. Atmos, Atmos has some crazy collabs, dude. They're all dope too, <laughs> for sure. I have these. Forgot what oh, these are the, Yo, those are nice. Bro, look at this. Oh my, my 
my goodness. That's awesome. <laughs> Those are sweet. Look at the, the lace. Uh, it says it says Atmos. Oh, those are dope. Yeah, and then on the on the tongue it says Atmos. Oh, oh that's awesome, Dunbar. What's good, buddy? <laughs> Yo, oh, let me show you the. These are the Nike, um, the the only Nike ID I, I own. Oh, yeah. that, that's cool. That's clean. Yeah, I got these like like ten years ago, bro. When okay. I used to play, I used to play soccer. Yeah. A lot. Was it oh, ten okay. years ago? It was probably it was probably like six years ago. <laughs> but really? I like I put the the like the name of my team, oh, but I couldn't okay. sp spell it out completely. Oh, that's dope. I put like the, the number twenty three. Yeah, right on, man. Right on. That's cool. That's super cool. I didn't know this one though. Eh? I don't know if he's seen these guys before. No. These guys are. Uh, I'm not too sure of the name, but these guys are a quick strike. Yeah. Oh yeah. Too crazy. Those are cool shoes. Can I take these back a little bit? So right here, these are one of my favorite basketball shoes. This is the Curry One, the OG. These guys are really clean, cool. Nothing too crazy. And I do have the retro of it as well. So this guy here is the retro. Nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to show you some Air Forces. I don't have the craziest Air Force line. This guy, he always says he don't have the craziest, but he has the craziest. <laughs> They're so oh, funny, man. Triple white can't go wrong. Triple white AF ones. Yeah. Uh, uh, nothing too wild. These guys are the white gums. Can't go around with those. Triple white. Yeah. Yes, these are the fourth of July AF ones. Nothing too crazy. Basic, really clean. Ah, this is a recent release, a few years ago. This is the Space Jam Air Force Ones of LeBron James Space Jam. The computer chip. Crazy. What color? What color is the? What color is the bottom? This is a. Uh, glow in the dark, translucent bottom. Really cool. Detail, man. I've never seen those. These are sleepers. <laughs> yeah, I actually got these on sale too. I think. Yeah. Uh, these ones. Nothing crazy. Can't remember the name on these. Great for fall, spring, canvas, upper with leather shoe. Really good shoe. Uh, this one, this one's probably my favorite Air Force right now. Gotta have some pair of ports. Yeah. Those were one of my Beaters 2 favorite shoe. I see you love court. Huh? 
<laughs> Have you seen the the clot? Oh, the uh, court dunks. Those ones are cool, man. Really like the changeable swoosh. Those are really cool. Yeah. These ones, where are these? Oh, these guys are pretty basic. Nothing too wild. Brown, brown Air Force Ones. Nothing too crazy. Simple. Black and white? Uh, brown and white. Brown and white. Green shoe. This guy said he doesn't have a crazy Air Force <laughs> collection. He has more Air Force Ones than me. <laughs> Nothing too wild. Nothing too wild. I'll show you some IPs. So this is one of them. So these are the Air Force Ones. These are an ID. I see this one here. This uh, this shoe is actually a personal sneaker pack that I did. So the thing is that it pays uh, homage to my grand, my grandma, and my great uncle. We both passed away with cancer. So and I actually wore this shoe to both of their funerals. Yeah. So yeah, nothing too wild. Pink, upper, gray, clean. Uh, so. Wait, did, did you customize that? I uh, know this is from Nike ID. Yeah, this shoe is from Nike ID. What do you think so? Hey, buddy, ask Randy what he thinks about the big trade Mavs just did. What? What trade did they do? You better look it up. It's gonna be a long night, folks. I'll check that later. Another Air Force Nike ID. Nothing too crazy. Snake skin upper. Yeah. That was on Nike yeah. ID? Yeah, yeah. You could do snakeskin upper? Yeah, but this one's when did I do this? 2020. Yeah. Okay. Great. Easy, eh? <laughs> I didn't know that. Honestly, I, I haven't really touched Nike ID, yeah. honestly. That's all I'm good. not going to lie to you. Go That's good. cool, though. Yeah. Now I think I need to make one. <laughs> Uh, oh, nothing too crazy. I was bored last year. Just made uh, some Chicago Air Forces. <laughs> nothing too wild. It was like, I, I just want to spend my money. Why not? Exactly, bro. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think you see this one on my. You know, you know about this, you know? The Nike ID Toronto pack I did? Yeah. I mean, I know, I know about it. Yeah. Do you, do you want to tell, you know, yeah. everybody about it? Or, I mean, it's up to you. It's yeah. up to you. No, I won't. So the story behind these, so I called these to the Nike Toronto pack. Uh, it pays tribute to my late uh, dad who actually passed this past uh, February. Uh, he was a big Toronto guy. He'd go there from time to time as he was young. And his favorite teams were the Blue Jays, the Raptors, and the Leafs. So I decided to make a colorways on the classic Raptors on the dunk. I wish it was an Air Force. And then I did another one on the Blue Jay, which is 
not too crazy but yeah r.i.p r.i.p shout out to dad watching us right now these guys another pair of bases just simple comfortable shoe every day too. Oh, nice. really good for summer Daddy! 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 <laughs> oh boy Hi, honey. Yeah, well, so oh bad. The kids is home, man. The kids is home. <laughs> yeah, baby, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, Lord. <laughs> These are the Asics club with nice kicks. These are just recently. That's They're a collab? collab? Yeah. Club with nice kicks. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, man. Clean shoe. Good leather. Oh. Yeah, let it come down. Let it come down. All right, we're, we're about to have a, a special guest on the on the TV show here on IG Live. <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Randy, this is my daughter Analia. Hi. Say hi, Randy. How are you? Hi. <laughs> She's awesome. using the less curl. <laughs> Has your dad hooked you up with shoes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. All right. Yeah, school's out and it's past her bedtime, so school's out. So oh, I know, man. Whatever now. Okay, I'll be quick. Okay, I'll see All right, take the Power Ranger toy and go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take a power. Wow. Here, I'll no, do that one, that's a pull, that's a pull. I want it. All right, here. She's gonna take this Power Ranger toy and gonna oh, go nice. upstairs. Bye. <laughs> All right, I love you too. Bye. <laughs> I'm going upstairs right now, baby. I'm almost done. I'm literally almost done in five minutes. Where's the pool? Where's the pool, Daddy? Where's the, where's the pool? I'll give it to you in five minutes, honey. Sorry about that. Please. The Flint 13s? Yeah. Ooh, last shot. Easy. That's good. <laughs> Bringing out the heat. These are one of my favorites. Buddies. Bringing out the heat. Woo! <laughs> 20. No, 20 no, gang. <laughs> 20 gang. Let me the 20s. 19. 20, yeah. 20 gang. Hey. Let's go. Hey, let's if go. you know, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> let's go, man. Let's go. I'll be really quick. Oh. Years ago, this is an older version of the uh, White Cement Fours from 2012. I was at a Winnipeg sneaker convention, 
And I got these guys for 120 for White Cement. $120? Yeah. 2012 version. Such a good deal, man. <laughs> I, I actually had those, but I I bought like too small of a size. Oh, yeah. That's so good. These are actually starting to separate on me, too. It sucks. <laughs> I love that, that shoe. I, I feel like that's one of my favorite Jordan 4 yeah. colors. Yeah, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I can show this. I'll show one. Great show, Randy. Yo, Randy giving us a show tonight, man. I try, man. I try. <laughs> this is why I knew I knew I had to invite you. <laughs> Something you don't see. This is uh really crazy. This is from the two thousand six pack, the new love old love. Yeah. yeah. Those are actually those are actually mids. Yeah, man, these are the mids, yeah. These are actually starting to separate on me, too. <laughs> Sucks. But that's okay. You gotta wear your shoes, Randy. You gotta wear your oh, shoes. Oh, I, I do. <laughs> these are so old. <laughs> Always do. Don't worry. Always do. Yeah, man. Nothing too long. I'm not a big fine slide. But this is one of my favorite non-original. Pro, Pro Star 5. Can't go wrong with those. Simple. Yeah, man. man that's... Can't go wrong with a Jordan yeah. 5. Yeah. Uh, who knows? I think that's... I'll show one more, and then I'll let you go. So I can't remember. I actually got this shoe at a Nike outlet in Winnipeg. Few years ago, these are the uh, Nike Zoom Sparadon, the Roundel collection. I can't remember what the story behind this, but yeah, these are wild, dude. <laughs> Those are sick. Yeah. Really comfortable too. Super comfortable. Yeah. Did you, did you see the the Stussy collab Zoom Sparadon? No, I haven't. No. Oh man, you gotta see. I'll check it out. Yeah, check it out, man. <laughs> dude, you were like, you're awesome, man. I love having you on the show. I try, uh, dude. I try. <laughs> you gave us, you gave us all a good show, man. <laughs> Nothing too wild. Let's read the comments. This is inspiring me to buy a new pair of shoes. Any recommendations? Uh, I'm just going to say go my... with something comfortable. That's all <laughs> I got to say. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. The LeBron James SVSM uh, Reebok Question PE. What? Packers with Packers. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Something you don't see too often. Bro, yeah. that, that is sick. Yeah. Really? That's the, that's the collab with Packers? With Packers, yeah. They also released the Kobe Bryant one with this too. That one's nice. The purple toe, super clean. Packers, super. is that a that's a that's a sneaker store, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. You're wrong, but yeah. Wow, that is Sick, bro. I'll go through real quick. Honestly, classic. Can't go wrong with these. You already know. And then I got these guys. 
Got a pair of those right here. Pumps. Got the, I got the Pat Riley Pumps. Pat Riley Pumps. I got the Power Ranger. The Power Ranger. Um, hey, that's what's up. These are the Reebok Shack Attack Fours. Woo! Oh, I've never seen those before. <laughs> yeah, man. They it's come with a pump? Too. Yeah, pump. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, uh, eh? That's oh, so cool, watch. bro. <laughs> that's so yeah. cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, you knocked it out the park, man. <laughs> This one's probably my favorite. I have too many favorites, dude. You've seen me wore these ones before. The Kendrick Lamar Club C's. Fire. Yeah. Fire. So clean. Simple. So fire. Such a great artist. Hey, <laughs> one of the yeah. one of the greatest rappers of this oh, generation. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I just got back into skate shoes. Wait on one sec. This might collapse on me any soon. Nothing too crazy. People don't really care about these. DC Manticas just got these a few months ago. Woo! Those are sexy. These are Those are sexy. You crazy? <laughs> Those are gorgeous. Yeah, man. Yeah. DC, bringing it back. The skater days. Actually, that's my first DC. Uh, way back, I went to a phase of uh, wearing skate uh, boarding shoes the only shoes shoe brands that stood out is the s the kai and the osiris guys yeah that's about it yeah that's I two sick, i'll show you some cool these guy had, this guy has more sneakers than than sneakers collectors out there it's crazy <laughs> Oh my goodness. Kobe One, Sunshine. Wow. I bought these for a steal too, actually, at Champs. Lexi. And he 30, keeps it with seats. Bucks, 34 bucks for these guys at Champs. <laughs> yeah. The year I bought them is 2015. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, you got more Kobe, nothing too crazy. Feel the bro. Your team, triple blacks, nothing too wild. Yeah. Right. Yeah, dude. Uh, That's when you know you got too much shoes. They all fall down. <laughs> you need a you need to start you need to start cleaning out. I know. This is my favorite Adidas collab so far. Not the tops, but the uh, Lego Adidas man. These are super clean, super dope too. Yeah, like the hits are really cool. The Lego Don't you have like a? Uh... Don't you have like a Lego shoe? Yes, I do. I'll get that right now. Right here. Right here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What's crazy about sick. these guys? This is a real life size, size seven. <laughs> how, long, how long did it take to build that? Uh, it took me almost one day and a half. <laughs> I took some breaks too because I couldn't go. Could I couldn't go continuously? But yeah, man. Yo, 
Randy, you killed it, brother. Thank you so much, no, man. Yeah, man. I really it's appreciate fun. you, man. Um, you know, hopefully I I get to swim back to Canada. Hopefully you yeah, well, brother. For sure. It, it was just um fun, an for honor sure. to interview you. Yeah, man. For sure, for sure. Thank you again. This one was actually really fun. <laughs> I told you you man i told you it would be fun man i told you that i told you that this was gonna be fun man um good times good times brother and you already know i gotta put this girl to sleep because oh. i hear her yelling sorry if i went overboard <laughs> nah man i think i think it's good i think you gave everybody you know it's good because you know we're all used to seeing the same Literally, social media just oh, gives I us know, the same man. shoe over and over. The dunk, yeah. the Air Force. Oh. Oh, There's so many different fun. silhouettes out there. Yeah, but social media keeps us away from those silhouettes. Oh, so I'm glad that you were able to show us all these different silhouettes. Thank you. thank you. No, man, thank you. You're helping me. You're helping my brand. You're helping everybody get together. Uh, no. And I can't wait for hopefully all of us get together. You know, this is what yep. it's about to get dude. together. You let's know what I'm saying? Again. Let's do this again, dude. Let's do Yo, this. Yo, let's do this again, bro. We'll probably do this again next year. You know, you never know yeah. where where life is gonna take us, man. Yeah. But thank you so much, brother. Please. Have a good night. You too, man. Thank you again. And I'll see, uh, every... see you. I'll see you again, man. Sounds good, brother. Sounds good. Take care, buddy. Uh, don't forget to follow Joe and his friend Emma. Big shout out to him. Thank you again. This one was really cool. Uh, sweet experience. This is my first time actually doing this. So this was actually not bad. I told you, man. I told you we were going to have fun. You know, my energy, your energy. Yeah, bro. You know, you're my brother, yeah. homie. Thank you, yeah, man. man. I have a good night and you. I'll see you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Follow Enlime NYC. Check me out on YouTube, Enlime TV. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Take care, guys. Thank you, everybody.